Welcome to another Rick's Picks. Today I'm going to be doing my review of the G.I. Joe classified figure, the Alley Viper. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be taking a look at him in box, and then I'm going to look at him and his accessories, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on this particular action figure. And remember, if you do like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, and if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. So here he is in packaging. Um, I love this packaging. Okay, I like this clear shell where you can see the figure, all of his accessories, the G.I. Joe logo, his name. You got your choking hazards here and your age restrictions. All right. Spin it around this way. You have his stats, what number he is. Spin him around again. You get this really nice piece of art. I really like that. You got your legal underneath. Spin it around this way. You get a nice look at the artwork. And once again, it's a wraparound art. So if you kind of spin it this way, you can see that this picture wraps around. So that's pretty cool how it just wraps around into one nice piece of art. And then the top, you have the Cobra logo and what number he is. And of course, the bottom is the rest of your legal. So, with all that being said, let's crack him open. So, here he is, out of box. He's a really nice looking figure. I love the color deco to him, the orange and blue. Uh, definitely a reminisce to the original figure. Um, I also like how they added extra detail, like they give a brown to his boots and stuff. So, let's give him the rotation. You know, once again, and I always say it about these classified figures, I love the detail to him. I love... All the extra colors, the little bit of extra effort that they put into him. Even to, like, when you look at his head, he has his Cobra logo there. So, with that being said, let's look at some of his points of articulation. So, the head and neck move. He has a shoulder joint, a bicep joint, an elbow joint, and a wrist joint. Alright? He does have a torsal joint, but because of his flat jacket, um, it doesn't really move he does have a hip joint but that don't really do much because once again of his jacket or vest uh he does have a joint at the thigh he has a swivel a knee joint and he also has a swivel at the top of the boot and then he has an ankle joint all right so in a pretty cool stance he comes with a bunch of accessories first off he has his visor all right that just pops on here just that simple and then it comes up um i was never exactly sure of what the visor does i'm going to guess it's probably like some sort of night vision or something like that so you know with that being said, I'm sure as a kid, we all use our own imagination to what the visor actually does. But overall, it's cool. It's a neat little effect. All right. He has his backpack here. All right. Whoops. Goes this way. Um, The only thing about this is I wish they would have added a little bit more color. Like maybe made the, the grenades on it a little bit of an olive green or something. You know, something to just give it a little bit of a pop. Maybe make the Cobra logo red. You know, and it just easily fits on his back here. Boom. Just like that. All right. Uh, all right. So he has an assault rifle here. All right. He has another assault rifle. All right. He comes with two, they look like daggers. All right, I forget what this spe specific type of dagger is called. It actually has a particular name and I completely forget what it's called. So you got one and then you have two. All right. He comes with a pistol. 
all right then he comes with a line gun okay i guess it's like almost like a rail gun that has a harpoon head that hooks into here right so you have that as well so let's see how well all these accessories fit with them let's start with the pistol all right do, 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 do. Um, the fingers, just like any of the other classified figures, are loose, so you can play with it a little bit to really work it in there. All right, see, pistol goes in nicely in the hand. Uh, you play with it a little bit more, you can get the finger in the actual trigger. All right, take that out of there. And, of course... Put back on the stand. The pistol fits right in the little holster here. No issues there. Man, he does he just he don't want to play today. Alright. And he has two daggers. I'm only going to use one dagger because I, I figure one dagger fits in his hand. The other one will as well. So there you go. He had the dagger in his hand. All right. Uh, one of them fits in this chest piece here. See how well that slides in. All right. So that fits really nicely in there. And then this one fits in here. Let's see which way. Yeah, it should be a pull this way. Yeah. So that fits nicely in there. Now, the thing I'm kind of being disappointed with this guy right now is I don't like how loose this is on here. Like, it keeps on spinning around. It makes things a little bit difficult. I mean, it's a neat effect. I like how he has the pull dagger there. But, you know, it, it does get a little bit wobbly. You have to play with it to get it nice and solid on there. So, next, let's look at this rifle here. Um, we're going to put this one on this hand. It looks like it would be easier due to how the clip is designed. So, just work it in. And there you go. So, he has that rifle in that hand. Take the other rifle. Put it in this hand. Let's see how well this goes in. And once again, just a little bit of playing with it. And you could get the finger in there and what have you. Because... Both hands are, you know, trigger hands, so they have the finger out. So, now you got both of those guns on them, which is kind of wicked looking. I like that whole look to them. Alright. Take that. Put that there. And now you have your rail gun here. See how well this works in his hand. All right, so that works well in his hand as well. Now, this also has a spot right here on the back. All right, if you look, there's a little space for it right here. So the handle fits nicely in this little hole here, and that just slides onto his back. So that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, he don't have spots for his other rifles. You know, which is kind of a shame. That was one of the things I do like about this line of figures is that for the most part, most of the figures have spots for their accessories. And speaking of accessories, I saved the best one for last, which is a shield. I always thought this was a cool looking shield. I always liked the shape and the design to it. Now, they also added this neat little feature here to where you get this tactical display, so you can pretend like that can work with any of your rifles or the, you know, the rail gun and what have you. So it has a little swivel here, so you can actually move it in the arm. So let's see how well this thing actually fits on him. All right, so get this arm up. Now, one thing I'm gonna say off the bat it's going to be a pain in the rear with this thing is it's a soft plastic 
actually, you know what? Nah, I'm not going to try that. I was hoping the hand would come out and make it a little bit easier to put this on. Hold on. All right, so I had to play with the shield off camera to get it on. Um, let's move his arm up so we can take a look at it. Um, I did have to wind up pulling the hand off. The hand does actually come off so you could get, you know, it on there. Um, it, it fits okay on him. I think it might have been better if they would have used like, you know, maybe clamps or something to hook it on there. Uh, it did go on eventually. Once again, it's a soft rubber, so it's movable. And I do like that feature to where you can spin it on his wrist. You know, let's take a look at this again. Like I said, it's a little bit of a pain to get on there. But when you do get it on, it does work. It looks cool. You know, you can have them looking into the shield or what have you. So, overall, I think he's a really cool figure. I really like the way he looks. He's definitely worthwhile having with your um, G.I. Joe cla classified um, collection. So, with that being said, I hope you all did like this review. If you did, go ahead and check out more of my G.I. Joe classified reviews on my playlist. And check out some of my other videos. And... Just remember, if you really do like this video, it would really help if you subscribe and hit that like button and also the notification bell. So with all that said and done, have a good one. Late.